Welcome to your practice. Welcome back to your mat. Today is 13 of our 365 days together. So if you're new to practice, we are practicing yoga, movement practice, and mindfulness. Today we're going to start with our mindfulness, mindfulness practice. And one of the things that I like to do if my mind is just kind of not coming back to uh, being mindful um, and reframing is not working and all of this is just do a little bit of pranayama, right? It's just do just some breathing, uh, some controlled breathing to calm my nervous system down, bring it back to balance. So we'll start today. And then I go into my mindfulness practice and often that will help if I'm having a hard time. So we're going to start with the right leg in front, left leg behind, sit in easy pose, Sukhasana, even out your butt bones. Sit up nice and tall, rest your palms facing downwards. Use props if you need to, so you can support yourself with blankets and such. And let's just do a shoulder roll so we, we have a nice long, tall spine here. Draw the chin in. And just take a moment and check in. So feel your lower body softening, grounding into the earth. And a release there and feel from your center up, just kind of rising. Feel the crown of your head drawing upwards without that chin lifting up. And just be aware of all that space you just created. So let's bring the awareness to the breath flowing in and out through your nostrils. We're breathing through the nose unless you're clogged, then you can't. Then you're really breathing slowly in and out through the mouth, but ideally through the nostrils. Breathe in, recognize sensation as you breathe in, breathe out. And we're gonna keep a little bit of a connection to our abdomen, so just a deeper core drawing in and start to expand into the belly as you breathe in. And take a little bit longer, deeper inhale. And a deeper exhale. And now I'm just going to simply count us through a five, five, inhale and exhale. So take a deep breath out here. Squeeze the belly straight back towards the spine. Empty the lungs completely and breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five. Inhale. Two, three, four five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, Three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Hold the breath at the top of the inhale. Relax your shoulders. Soften your shoulder blades down the back. Soften the neck and the throat. Breathe out through the nostrils slowly. And let go of the controlled breathing. Without opening your eyes, you're simply going to crisscross the legs the other way. Left in front, right behind, even out the sitting bones. Roll the shoulders up and back, sit up tall, just as we did on the other side.
And now you're going to take your own mindfulness practice. Start with mindfulness of breathing, just recognizing the breath flowing in and out through the nostrils. Sensations that may arise on the bridge of the nose, inside of the nostrils, as the breath flows. Recognizing how the breath moves the body and recognizing sensations as they arise without judgment, just noticing. You're just exploring with a sense of curiosity. Let go of judgment. And if the mind wanders, come back to recognizing your breathing. Soften your brow, start to dive into the space right between your eyes. Dropping down past the throat chakra into the heart center. So gaze into your heart space. And open yourself to an intention for your practice this today. And once you've found your intention, take a soft blink of the eyes open. Just reconnect with your surroundings. And just rest the palms on the knees. Take a seated cat pose here. So draw the chin in, sink the back, back, round the shoulders out. And then inhale, a little seated cat pose. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest up, gaze goes back. And exhale, round it out, starting to slowly move the body. And Keep that same awareness that you use in your mindfulness practice, in your physical practice, just being aware of sensation and movement and what's happening in your body as you move. Let's come back to center, flip the arms up to the sky, reach through the side body, let's twist to the right, spin those right ribs back, round that left hip, and inhale, both arms up, and let's spin it around to the left and inhale, both arms up, exhale, hands to prayer and release. Let's make our way into our plank pose. So release yourself, here's your props out of the way and come into planks. Coming onto the hands and knees. And we're up to a minute and 18 seconds. So as always, if this is new for you, start on your knees. You lift up into full plank when you can. 
And we just want to make sure we're active through the whole body, pushing the mat away, hugging into the armpits, getting into those legs, lifting up your kneecaps, getting into your core and having the breath steady. Just make sure your head's not collapsed here. But I just wanted to talk about the mindfulness practice for a moment. So it's literally, you did three minutes on your own of mindfulness. That's even a little bit under because I guided in the first few seconds there. Um, ideally, you start to uh, have your own practice. Go maybe a little longer, five minutes. Make it, making it into 10 minutes and then trying to do it once or twice a day, maybe up to 20 minutes. So the more you practice, the easier it becomes to sit. And then on some days you just can't, right? So you just do your sit at a different time, but don't give up. Start slowly and just add even a minute a day, right? Just kind of like we're doing with this plank pose. We're adding a few seconds every few days and we're building strength. So we're almost out of it. Let's see, one more breath here and take your downward facing dog up and back. Stretch it out. Let's take a little pedal of the dog, bending one knee at a time, pushing into the mat, getting that spine long, hug into those armpits, keep your front ribs from poofing out, meaning just draw in those deep belly muscles, spread your toes wide. And both heels down. Let's take a little walk to the top of the mat. Just a slow walk, bent knees, straight legs, whatever you can access. Inhale, half forward fold. Open your heart up here. Exhale, full forward fold. Let everything drop. Bend to the knees for the tighter folk out there. And inhale, float the arms in front of you slightly up to the sky, palms together. Exhale, mountain pose, samastiti hi. So let's get grounded. We do a little bit of balance today in our practice. Press into the feet, lift yourself tall. Mountain pose, palms open, heart open, belly strong. Shift your weight to the left leg. We're going to take a little ladder flow here. So inhale, float the right leg up, reach the arms up over the head, press into that standing foot, and we're going to step it back. Take a flow from here, shoot it back into plank pose where we'll take our push up. So chaturanga, come forward. Roll through the toes if you're doing your upward facing, push back there. Otherwise, come into cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. And we're going to float the right foot to the top of the mat. The left knee is going to drop. Rock on top of that kneecap. Low lunge pose. Anjanayasana. Push into that front foot. Ground and rise. So with our ladder flow, we come into a pose in our vinyasa and we hold it and we breathe and we go deeper into the pose. And then with each flow, we add another posture. So the next posture is the one that we hold. Take another deep breath here. And float your hands down to the mat, step it back, take your push up. exhale. You can do this from your knees if you need to. Inhale your back bend. Find your back body, lift your heart up here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Gonna take a deep breath. And left foot steps to the top of the mat, right knee drops. Inhale, low lunge, reach up to the sky. So that right hip is drawing forward. Maybe you have a little more room to go into the lunge. Maybe you need to step it back a little bit. We'll lift your heart up. Hug those inner thighs and push into that back knee. And exhale, hands to the mat, shoot it back, take a flow, chaturanga. Inhale into your upward or your cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath. And a step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, arms out and up, rise to the sky. Exhale, back into mountain pose. We shift our weight to the right leg, ground, push into that standing foot, float the left knee up. Reach through those fingertips. We're going to pitch forward here. So try to keep that hip square as you step it back. Step back into plank pose and take your chaturanga. Yoga push up. Inhale into your back bend. 
Exhale, downward facing. And you take modifications as you need them, right? You come to the knees when you start feeling tired. Maybe you go right into down dog, drop that left knee. Inhale, right foot forward, left knee down. Inhale, we come into our low lunge. Exhale, we're going into our half split pose. So bring the hips back, spread the toes here, and we're going to breathe. Let the whole body drop over that right leg. Head drops, head, get he head gets heavy. We're grounding through that back leg and lifting up those kneecaps with your right quadriceps here, front leg. Hip drawing back, breathe. Come back into the lunge. We'll step back and take a vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps to the top of the mat. Right knee drops. Inhale, low lunge. Rise up the middle of the mat. Exhale, hands to the mat. Anj uh, that was Anjanayasana. Ardha Hanumanasana, half split pose. So spread your toes. Draw that thigh. Draw the quadriceps. Lift them up. Lift that kneecap up. Let the head drop. Just make sure you're tracking over your left leg. So the right ribs are not turning out to the right. They're actually turning down. Ground through that back leg. Breathe. Draw that left hip into your body. Inner thigh hugging down to get more into the hamstrings. One more breath. Come back into your lunge. Back knee off the mat. Shoot it back. Let's take a flow. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale into upward facing or cobra pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath. And let's float the left foot or hop. Left foot, right foot. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, arms out and up, rise to the sky. Exhale, mountain pose. We shift our weight to the left leg. Right leg floats up. And pitch forward again. Keep that hip square. Step it far to the back of the mat. And we take a flow. Exhale, chaturanga. Heart is open. Inhale, upward. As you can see, we're moving faster. Be mindful of what's happening in your body as we flow. Downward facing dog. Right foot to the top of the mat, left knee drops, low lunge, inhale, exhale, half split, Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, come forward back into that low lunge, into crescent pose, back knee off the mat, rise up and hold. So either that back knee is bent, if you're really tight here in your hip, or you're going for a straighter leg if you have the space. Go deep into the lunge. Heart is open, breathe. Squeeze those hips into the body. Maybe you can start to float back a little bit, reach through your fingertips. And flow, exhale, hands to the mat. Take your vinyasa, we do our push up. Come into your back bend. Downward facing dog. Left foot to the top of the mat. Right knee drops, inhale. Low lunge. Exhale. Ardha Hanuman. Half split. Inhale. Tuck those back toes. Knee comes off the mat. Crescent pose. Rise up. Breathe. So find space as we breathe. Right. Maybe that back leg goes just a little bit straighter. Try to be tall here. Is your core connected? Reach up like someone's drawing your hands up to the sky. Giving you length here. Deep breaths. One more deep breath here. And hands to the mat. Let's take a flow. Shoot it back. Chaturanga. Inhale. Your back bend. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Deep breath. Gaze to the top of the mat. Step or float. Right, left, inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, full forward fold. 
Push into the feet, rise. Exhale, mountain pose. We shift our weight to the right leg. Left leg floats up. Pitch forward, slow motion. Try to get that foot as far to the back of the mat as you can. Step it back, take a flow. Chaturanga. Inhale your back bend. This is our last posture that we're adding. Exhale, downward facing dog. You're almost there. Right foot to the top of the mat, left knee drops. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, half split. Inhale, tuck those back toes under. Crescent pose. And we're gonna push off into warrior three pose. So push off, you can take your hands to your waist if you want to, if you need to, and push off and straighten that front leg as much as you can. Get that back leg up. If you have the strength, the length, reach that arm, those arms up overhead. So in your warrior three, you wanna make sure that that left hip is facing down. Take a deep bend to the standing leg if it's hard for you to hold the pose, right? And then slowly start to straighten, get those hips to draw into the body. Gaze is just ahead of you. One more deep breath here. And hands down to the mat, we step back, take a flow, exhale. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, left foot forward. Right knee drops. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, half split. Back toes tuck under. Inhale, crescent pose. And we come forward and see if you can find that lift off of that right hip facing down. Reach that leg up, ground through the standing leg. So you're pushing down, squeeze your hips into your body. Lengthen your torso long here. So really pushing into that standing leg, squeezing the thigh, reaching through those back toes, having that hip squared off, lifting the torso. One more breath here. Hands to the mat, step back. Last flow of the class, heart open, chaturanga. Inhale, upward or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. And step or float, left, left foot, right foot if you're stepping. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, mountain pose. You made it, you survived. Let's come down to seated. We have these little bursts in our little 30 minute classes. So we're gonna come into fire log pose. If you're tightening your hips, you're gonna sit on a blanket or you're gonna use supports. So right ankle on top of the left knee, left foot under the right knee, not towards your butt. So if you're tight here, but you can kind of hang out, use a support. See how I put that under my thigh? You can also put one on the lower leg, on the bottom one. So find whatever space you have here in the pose. If you can stack your shins, you stack your shins. Even out your sitting bones, breathe, hold yourself tall. If you want to find more space, you start to walk forward. Soften those hips. Breathe into your hips. So as you find space, you go a little further forward. Try to keep both of those hips nice and grounded. And then just let yourself drop over your legs if you have space for the fold. If not, just hold yourself up. If you're getting a deep opening here, just sit tall. Let's take a couple deep breaths here. Soften the body, you've done the work. You've done the flow. Allow the body to start to release. Slow the breath down. Let's slowly start to walk it up if you fold it. Lift yourself tall here. Let's float the arms up to the sky and twist to the right. We're gonna to turn to the right. Keep that left sitting bone grounded so it doesn't turn with you. Pull the right ribs back. 
Let's draw the chin in, take a little double twist along the spine here. Look over that left shoulder. So the right ribs are drawing back, gaze is turning to the left. You're pressing into that thigh for a little bit more space. Come back to center, let's release the legs, shake it out and switch left on top. Make sure it's supported on that thigh so the ankle doesn't drop down. Right underneath, crisscross, even out your sitting bones, press through the heel. Heels, you've got two. Sit up nice and tall, press into the mat, heart lift and start to walk it forward if you wanna go deeper into the body. Often this is way more than enough for people just holding yourself up. I'm even getting an opening here, even though I'm pretty deep in it. So take what your body needs right now. If you're folding, let the upper body completely release. Take a couple deep breaths here. Relax your shoulders, let the head get heavy. Soften your hips if they're resisting, if they're locking up, just bring your focus there and release, let go of that activation just by being aware of it. One more breath here. Slowly start to walk yourself up. Lift yourself tall, float the arms up. Let's twist to the left. Press into that thigh, spin around. Your left hand's pushing into the mat. Right hip is down, not moving. Don't let it turn. Pull those left ribs back, draw the chin in, look over the right shoulder and really go into the double twist here. So gaze as far to the right as you can, left ribs as far to the left as you can. And bring it back to center. Let's release, shake it out. Make your way onto your back into Shavasana. So come onto our backs, our final resting pose here. Blanket yourself if you need to. Some blankets under the knees, under the back of the head if you need, not necessary. And of course, always on top of you if it's cold. So give your body space. Let the arms drop open. Take a moment and just check in with how you're doing in this moment. Can you feel all of that energy moving through you? Let go of any deep or controlled breathing you may be engaging. Feel the weight of your body releasing. If you haven't closed your eyes, close your eyes. Soften your brow. Gaze deeply into that third eye space. Drop your gaze into the throat. Soften any tension in the neck and the throat. And drop down into your heart space. Rest your attention here for another few moments.
Bring the awareness back to the breathing. Become aware of your body. Start to wake it, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. As you move, feel the energy starting to move again through your body. Float the arms up over the head, reach fingertips to toes, full body stretch here. Keeping your eyes closed, bring your knees into your chest. Rock yourself back and forth and over onto your side into fetus position. Pressing up to seated. Come up to a tall seated position here. Roll the shoulders up and back. Take your palms to prayer. Seal all of that work you just did in between your hands. Thumbs into the sternum. Draw the chin in and bow the head forward. And let's bow down to the earth, Mother Earth. Take a moment and honor her. Say thank you for giving you a place to experience your life, a home. Bow down to your body. Honor that space, this vessel that, again, gives you the ability to experience life. Express gratitude to it. And bow down to your heart and your light. So you can experience this place from a place of love. Honor the light and love within all beings. And from deep within your heart, send a prayer of peace to the world. May all beings experience peace. Now express gratitude for three things in your life. Inhale, head back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. See what your angel cards have to say today. Number one, openness. Number two, celebration. And number three, adventure. I love it. Have a lovely day. I'll see you on your mat tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.